Hi everyone, welcome to another Sailor Moon Collection video. Instead of waiting for the next pre-order and or extra month item that I will be getting probably next month to do a video, um, I have decided to just do a small set of stuff for a collection video. I know that a lot of you have probably seen these items minus one because I have done a lot of unboxing videos lately. So, um, these are probably repeat items for you guys, but I wanted to put that in a big video, kind of big chunk of it. So, let's get started. So, I'll show you the new stuff first, then I will show you, like, the, what I call, one, uh, the 90s vintage item that's in my collection that uh, you guys didn't see. So, first off, I have my first SH figure art for Sailor Moon, and Rightfully so, I have Sailor Moon. I'll get down a little bit so you can see her. I have her posed for throwing the tiara. And Luna fell over drunk. So here's Luna. And again, I have my tablet recording, or fixed. So there's Sailor Moon. Next, I have, even though this is from the 90s, it's still new to my collection, because I just got it this year. So I got a small Jupiter doll. And then these over here are the limited edition Sailor Moon Blu-rays. Um, I have both part one and part two and the booklet. You can just... here's part one. The booklet is right here. Part two is right there. Looks better without the slip cover for part two. Why Viz didn't put a slip cover for part one is beyond me. So then I have that. Side and back. Then down here, um, these were a surprise from uh, Right Stuff. I did not expect to get these, like I said in my last video for these. I have the Sail I have Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, and the Tuxedo and Tuxedo Mask. On the opposite sides um, of this one, I have the Sailor Moon logo. On this one, I have Kunzite. On this one, I have uh, Nephrite, I believe. Yep. Then I have uh, Jadeite. And then Zoisite is on the back of Mercury. And then Queen Barrel is on the back of Sailor Moon's card. So we got those. I love how these feel. These art cards feel really good. So, yeah, I'll just stick them on the line like I had them before. So there's that. And this is the anticipated Sailor Moon lunchbox that I have been trying to find. I finally found it, surprisingly, in my grandmother's closet, which she told me that it wasn't in there, but I looked again anyway. This I got in the 90s, and it is a licensed item because it's li licensed by Deke Entertainment, which was the first English dubbed company that did it in the 90s. I got this at Suncoast, but that companies out of business. These right here, I can actually put a strap on the lunchbox if I want to. And the back of it is the same as the front. Um, I think this is in good condition considering how many years I've had it. I haven't decided what to put in it yet. And here's what the inside looks like. Right here. I may just put my Sailor Moon cards in it, I don't know, and stuff, but, um, sorry, that was my cat's foot. My cat just, just does not want to wait on the bed any longer. But, there you go, that is another portion of my Sailor Moon collection. Um, I am trying to decide if I want to do a Q&A video, so if you think I should, uh, please let me know in the comments or in the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian or Princess Guardian fa Facebook group. It is free to join, so you can tell me on there. And uh, I will do a answering video for the questions if you have any. So, but yeah. But there you go. That is a portion of my Sailor Moon collection. 
I will be back when I have more stuff to show. Um, I do not think the my Sailor Moon collection will be wrapping up anytime soon. Uh, I think I'll be collecting Sailor Moon stuff for years to come. Thank you, thanks to Amazon and eBay. But now I know what looks or what is official and stuff because I have bought bootleg before by mistake. So I am very careful now on what I buy. So um, there you go. That is another portion of my Sailor Moon collection.